the chainsaw. How does this machine cut through hard woods like oak at an inch a second without doing the same to the operator? Hundreds of moving parts work together. A lightweight piston drives a toughened crankshaft. This powers a three-row chain that runs at a colossal 70 miles an hour. On the outside rows, 33 razor-sharp cutting teeth can rip through even the toughest hardwood. The key to the chainsaw's power isn't the teeth, it's the flat piece of metal that the chain runs around. It's called a guide bar. It has to be strong enough to support a fast-moving chain, but light enough to hold at arm's length all day long. To save weight, workers at this Virginia Beach factory build this guide bar in a very special way. It's hollow. What we're doing here is we're taking the parts that we stamped out, outer plates and inner plates, and putting them together to basically make the guide bar. Brian heads a team of engineers that run the massive robotic guide bar production line. It's one small part of a two million square foot factory that produces four million units a year. It's such complicated equipment. I've been making guide bars for 42 years. This is the most automated system. As long as they keep it running, I'm a happy camper. This robot takes two solid pieces of metal and stacks them with a hollow section in the middle. It then delivers the bar to a giant welder. 18,000 volts of electricity fuse the metal together. The hollow core makes this metal sandwich much lighter than a solid bar but just as strong. It's very rigid. Once it's welded, you end up with a very strong end result. 